the relationship between frequency and maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons emitted from two cathodes m and n of different photoelectric cells is investigated the graph below have been obtained from the results and then there we have our graph uh, the most important thing in photoelectric effect more especially if you're given a graph is to find the equation of that graph right so clearly on this equation on the y we have f right and then on the x we have ek max so we need to come with an equation uh, that is photoelectric effect bound that has ek max on the x and then y on the f uh, from definition we know fully well that e is equals to uh, hf or it is equals to uh, work function plus ek max right so here uh, we can deduce that uh, hf is equals to uh, the work function is given by h multiplied by the threshold frequency plus ek right so on the y we have h multiplied by f and then on the x we have ek right but then we don't want h multiplied by f we just want f so we're going to divide everything by f right every term on our equation so if we do that we're gonna have the frequency is equals to h f uh, not right divided by h plus uh, ek max divided by h obviously h and h cancels out we're left with the frequency shown being equals to the threshold frequency plus uh, 1 over h multiplied by ek max uh, clearly on a straight line graph this will be the y uh, this will be the intercept right c and then plus the gradient and then ek max is x so y equals to mx plus c basically and then now we can solve our problems 10.1 says define the term threshold frequency we know fully well that the threshold frequency it is the minimum frequency of light needed to eject electrons from a metal surface the minimum frequency of light needed to eject electrons from a metal surface now we can move to 10.2 10.2 says how does the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons emitted from cathode n compare to the maximum kinetic energy of those emitted from cathode m when a light of frequency greater than 10.4 times 10 to the 14 hertz is shown on each of the cathodes right so let's go back to our equation uh this equation here that we deduced and make uh ek the subject of the formula right so that we can see uh how the f affect the frequency shown affects ek max so if we do that i'm just going to write it here and then i'm going to erase when we answer 10.3 if we do that so we make in ek the subject of the formula in this equation here right so we're gonna have the frequency multiplied by uh, the threshold frequency being equals to ek divided by h right so we can multiply everything by h and get ek so we're gonna have h multiplied by f minus h multiplied by threshold frequency is equals to ek so we have a light that is shown on cathode m and n we want to know how the kinetic energy of electrons emitted on cathode n compare to the kinetic energy of electrons emitted from cathode m clearly on this equation the cathode that has the smaller work function or threshold frequency will have the higher kinetic energy right the cathode that is the less threshold frequency will have the higher kinetic energy on this graph that we have here the threshold frequency of n is 5,16 and the threshold frequency of m is 10,4 so n will have electrons emitted that have a higher kinetic energy because n has a smaller threshold frequency right so the answer here 
cathode N compare our cathode N compare with cathode M cathode N will have a kinetic energy that is greater than that of cathode M because cathode N has a way less threshold frequency now i think we can move to 10.3 10.3 says calculate the value of frequency fx indicated on the graph uh, let's go to our graph we have fx here that i've already circled right and then the kinetic energy f at fx is uh 23,01 multiplied by 10 to the minus 19 joules right so let's use this equation that we did use here that says that f is equals to f naught plus ek divided by h to find fx right so we have what are we saying we're saying that f is equals to f naught plus ek max divided by h right but then what is our f our f now is fx which is what we're looking for and then the threshold frequency right is this frequency here that we find when ek max is equals to zero right so that will be 10.4 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power 14 right multiplied by 10 to the power 14 plus ek max divided by uh Planck's constant so that will be 23 comma zero one multiplied by 10 to the minus 19 divided by Planck's constant Planck's constant is six comma six three times 10 to the minus 34 right and if you punch that in your calculator you're gonna get 45.1 times 10 to the 14 hertz now let's go to 10.4 10.4 says that the experiment is now repeated for cathode M using light of frequency fx but of higher intensity. The frequency is the same, just higher intensity. How will each of the following uh, be affected? Choose from increase, decrease, or no effect. The y intercept of the graph. Uh, we have deduced here that the y intercept of the graph gives us f naught right the threshold frequency what does the threshold frequency depend on uh, when we're using the fat simulation right or when we're doing the photoelectric practical we figured out that the threshold frequency depend on the surface which you want to eject electrons on so whether you change the frequency of the light you are using you change the intensity you change anything else it won't have an effect on f naught right because f naught depends on the material you have to change the material if you want to change the threshold frequency so here we will have no effect no effect uh, we've talked about this and then we have done a practical uh, i will link it in the description if that's something you'd want to see and then 10.4.2 says the number of electrons of photoelectrons emitted per unit time uh, we've also talked about this on the prac uh, on the simulation we were doing uh, so here the number of photoelectrons emitted per unit time will increase when you increase uh, the intensity that is because one packet of light ejects only one electron from a metal surface so when you increase the intensity you, you keep in the wavelength the same the frequency the same but you increase in the packets of light that are gonna be incident on the material so when you increase the packet of light more electrons will be ejected per unit time right but then the ek max will still be the same so here the number of electrons emitted per unit time increases uh we've done this before guys i will put uh the link in the description and in the comments uh 10.4.3 says uh, the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons emitted intensity doesn't affect ek right intensity only affects the number of photoelectrons emitted 
ek remains the same if you want to affect ek you have to increase the frequency not the intensity or you change the material and use a material of lower uh, threshold frequency but then the intensity will not have any effect on the kinetic energy of emitted photoelectrons so here we're going to have no effect 